We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Keisha Knight Pulliam situation, honey. So if you guys don't know, Keisha Knight Pulliam took to her Instagram page two days ago to announce to the world that she just gave birth to her baby girl, Ella Grace, okay? So while everybody was cheering her on and congratulating her, you know, folks were wondering, well, damn, where's Ed Hartwell? Why hasn't he posted anything? It's because Ed Hartwell was not there at the hospital with her when she delivered. Matter of fact, he had no idea that the baby was born until she took to social media and told the world. So when we found out, that's when the baby daddy, aka the ex-husband who put her on blast, found out as well. How you doing? Damn, this tea's good. Now, with that being said, I don't feel bad for Ed Hartwell at all, okay? I don't blame her for not contacting him or talking to him because at the Raw, if you guys remember a few months ago when they were going through all this drama, he put her on blast publicly. You know what I'm saying? He publicly didn't want to claim the child. He said that he was not going to claim the child until there was a DNA test. You know, he was very, very rude about the situation. So I can understand why she felt the need to not deal with him or not tell him anything. But with that being said, Keisha Knight is grown and Ed Hartwell are grown. I don't feel bad for their mess ass situation because they both knew what they were doing she wanted a baby by any means necessary and he just wanted to come up on a female who had money okay so they both deserve each other but I do feel bad for this child because this child is innocent in this and it's really sad that an innocent baby is being born into all this confusion chaos and drama okay so now in other news if you guys do not know honey make sure you guys have y'all's teacups ready okay now you guys remember a few months ago it was announced that Mary J Blythe and Kim Duke Isaacs they broke up that was her husband of like I don't know 14 years or something okay so they broke up Mary J Blythe basically saying that he's a gold digger you know he doesn't want to pull his weight and they just been having a lot of issues okay but that also means that we're going to get some damn good music this year from Mary J Blythe in 2017 how you doing okay because we all know when she goes through damn heartbreak honey she drops fire okay so now what's crazy is this there have been rumors that Mary J Blythe is now dating Jason Mitchell for those of y'all who don't know who Jason Mitchell is Jason Mitchell is the guy who played Easy E in Straight Outta Compton okay so they're saying that they're dating and Mary J Blythe took to Instagram to post the following and then she quickly deleted it when folks started speculating go ahead and check out what Mary J Blythe posted yesterday on Instagram All right, so you guys just saw her post. Now, what I'm hearing is that the two of them fell in love. Um, right now, they're co-stars in this new movie that's coming up. It's called Mudbound, and it's something taking place in, like, I don't know, the 1900s. It looks like old type of film. So what I'm hearing is that folks were saying that, you know, sparks started flying, and that he was feeling her, and she was feeling him, and that now they're supposedly dating and going on vacations together and all that good stuff, okay? I guess Mary J. Blige said, honey, if J-Lo can do it, she can hop up and down on Dre. She said, well, why can't she, okay? I don't see nothing wrong with it. A lot of folks are saying that Mary J. Blythe is too old for him. He's 30. She's 47. She needs to have several seats. I don't think she wants to really be in like a really super serious relationship. I personally think that she just wants to, you know, get her back blown out and have some damn fun, okay? I mean, shit, let her live, okay? It ain't like he's 15. He's a grown-ass man. She's a grown-ass woman. And neither one of them owe us any type of explanation. But I am nosy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk about the shit. But I'm happy for them, you know what I'm saying? If Mary J. Blythe is happy and this puts a smile on her face, then so be it. If Jason is happy, then so be it. He's definitely come up since straight out of Compton. We see you, boo. We see you. So the whole situation is just funny to me. It's going to be interesting to see if she comes out publicly publicly i'm talking my words coming out of her mouth saying that this is my boo jason mitchell that's what the hell i'm waiting for okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning keisha knight pulliam and ed hartwell ed hartwell not knowing about his baby do you think that keisha knight was wrong for that do you feel like she should have let him know and she should allow him to come and see the birth of this child or do you feel like you know what that's on ed hartwell he put himself in that situation oh well and then how do you guys feel about the whole mary j Blige possibly dating Jason Mitchell okay do you believe that they're really dating or do you feel like Mary J Blige was just trying to poke fun at the media speculations okay and last but not least do you feel like Mary J Blige is way too old to be dating a 30 year old so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl T make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise 
Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.